Get into it. The Marilyn Dennis Show. New weekdays at 10, only on CTV. Welcome back. Uh, pets deserve to be pampered as much as we do. We all know that. Here's Sebastian Sentner with ideas on how to throw a Pinterest-worthy pet party. Here we go. You guys know that I'm no stranger to throwing parties, but even for me, this is a little bit of a new one. I haven't worked for a clientele like this before. Well, pet parties are a big thing nowadays, whether you're announcing a new pet to the family or whether you're celebrating a birthday. And we've got some great ideas. We've got some great cooling stations. We've got a little doggy pool. We've got fantastic food. All the things that I think are going to win over these very picky clients. Okay, so everybody's excited for the party? Yes, they're excited. And of course, we're starting the party out. It's Millie's seventh birthday. And nobody's more excited than Cody that you hear parking in the background. So one of my favorite ideas that I found on Pinterest was to do a chalkboard announcing the birthday girl, in this case, Millie. It's all about Millie. It's who her best friends are. It's how much she weighs. I think she lied on that one a little bit. It's what she loves to do. It's all about celebrating Millie and her birthday. What dog doesn't like tennis balls and milk balls? We decided to make centerpieces out of them. Dogs are going to definitely not be able to keep their paws off of this table. Pet pampering is at an all-time high, whether it's pet fashions, pet playgrounds, pet parties, or even gourmet dog foods or all natural dog foods and dog treats. It would not be a party without a gift bag, and in this case, a doggy bag. So we've got fantastic treats, we're making sure we have lots of natural snacks for them. It looks delicious even for me. And lots more stuff for them to go home with. Of course, there's going to be parents at this party, so we get some hot dogs, why not, it's a doggy party, with all types of condiments, we've chosen mason jars, people can help themselves, it's a really simple serve, you guys love mustard on their hot dogs. Oh, it sounds like the dogs want one too. There's no better way to beat the dog days of summer than with a cooling station. These dogs are going to get hot because they're outside, so we did two amazing ideas. First. We did little dog bowls, each with their names on them. We used plastic, which is really important because steel tends to get really hot in the sun or in the heat. And then, of course, we did a mini doggy pool. This is definitely keeping the dogs cool. It's actually working pretty well for me, too. Here you go, Billy. You've already had like nine of them. <laughs> Pinterest is a virtual discovery app, which means it's a great place to find inspiration ideas for anything you're doing in terms of entertaining, DIY, anything creative for that matter, because there are over 200 billion ideas there. Repeat clients are the best clients. Tell your friends about your achievement. There you go. People treat their pets as good, if not better, than the rest of their family. Trust me, I know. I've got two dogs in our family. I've got two sons, and I am the lowest person on the totem pole. Okay, guys, well, I've got my first dog party under my belt, and I think I've done a pretty good job. It looks like these guys are happy. You guys happy? Well, Millie's definitely happy. She's the birthday girl, which is the most important one. I mean, the trick, really, to keep your customers satisfied. In the adult world, in the two-legged world, let's make sure you have great cocktails. In the doggy world, it's all about the dog treats. Right, guys? Come on, dog treats. There we go. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Please welcome Sebastian Sender. Boy, you're good at that, putting on a pet party, a little doggy ah, birthday party. For my, for my first party, my first dog party, I think uh, everybody was pretty happy. Millie was happy, right? Millie was hi, very Millie. happy, the birthday girl. Millie says, no, I'm going to put so her good. down because she's um, getting a little bit camera shy. But I Millie talk was happy about the and band- that's all my count. Yeah, that's right. I want to talk about the bandana because you've got some things you're going to show us. But where do you get the inspiration again? Where do we find that? So... I mean, for me, I'm a huge fan of Pinterest. I spend a lot of time on Pinterest looking for ideas, looking for DIYs. And nowadays with pets, um, it seems that anything to do with searches with pets has just gone through the roof. Uh, So you're seeing people doing uh, birthday parties for their pets. They're announcing to their families that they're getting a pet, anything pet related. So I really love to be able to go onto Pinterest, look for things that inspired me, and then put my own twist onto them. Okay, we're going to talk about those cute bandanas. I know Millie was wearing one. Yeah, Millie was wearing, of course, the dogs have to look their best. And so what we did yeah. was we came up with this idea. We found this idea about doing bandanas for when the uh, when the puppies come to the party. So it's very uh-huh. simple. All we're doing is we're finding a lightweight fabric. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm already folding a triangle. And you fold the size of the triangle based on how big the, of, the, of a neck the dog has. So you just fit it around the neck like this. And if it fits, you're yep. good to go. 
So what I'm going to then do is I'm going to lay it down, and the easiest way to cut this in a square is basically just to fold the triangle and then follow that same line. Now, I'm using regular scissors here. If you have fabric scissors, that's even better, but it's not really necessary. And the reason why is you're going to start to see that the edges will fray after a few days, but honestly, if it lasts on the dog for a few days, then you're well ahead of the, uh, the game. So just cut on like this, finish it off. Oh, there we go. And there you have it. Got a little wow. bandana for the dog. Perfect. There you go. Very okay, cute. so we put yeah, that on, and we got different colors and everything, and, you know, girls and boys uh, and everything in between. Uh, you you have fun with this, Seb. I know you did. Huh? I have fun That's with everything. Fun. Hey, you why not? It, it's a party. A party <laughs> is a party. Okay, take-home gifts. Tell me about that. What did you put in the okay. bag? So, Marilyn, we've both been to enough parties. We love the gift bag. Everybody loves the gift bag at the end of the party. So why would dogs be any different? We came up with this really fun idea. So we started off with just a simple paper, craft paper shopping bag. We added mm -hmm. these really great little doggy bag tags. And all I did was I cut it out of black construction paper and used some pastel crayons. And then I put the dog's name right on the bag. Keep it super, super simple. So next, mm -hmm. we're basically going to pop that bag open like this. And we're going to fill it with everything a dog would ever want. Of course, we got treats. Yeah. We're gonna do that. Now, one thing also I'm gonna tell people, when you're hosting a dog party, really try and get stuff that's a little bit more like organic, natural. There's so many great products nowadays that it's important that you get that. It's not just about finding, you know, whatever happens to be the first thing on the shelf, but find things that you know are gonna be good for your dog. So we fill all those up. Got that in there, a little bit of pepperoni. And there, that's you got a bag. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. the dogs are going to be thrilled. The owners will probably Beyond. be pretty happy, too. Oh, oh for you know sure. And throw a few oh, tennis wait, balls in there. I was going to just say, you got tennis balls behind you. I love that as it's a decor item, too, and a vase. You're a smart guy, smart guy. Last thing I want you to talk to us about that is that amazing cake. So, okay, this is definitely the first time we've ever made a birthday cake for a dog, but <laughs> it's Millie's birthday. So, of course, Yay. we're going to make her a birthday cake. So what's interesting about this recipe is, um, with the exception of little dog bones that I'm going to add on the front here, this is actually could be eaten by humans. It is all normal ingredients. So what we did was we used whole wheat flour, we used peanut butter, we used applesauce, we used some eggs. Uh, there was no added sweetener at all, because obviously sweetener is not good for dogs. And all I do is I finish it off with some milk bones. There we go. And you're good to go. That is a cake that is all natural. The dogs haven't had it yet. I kept it back. So they're going to have it next. We're going to see how they enjoy it. Okay. What's in the cake again? You Tell me again what's in that cake. So you've got the whole recipe on the website, um, but there is a uh, whole wheat uh, flour. There's eggs in there. There is, um, um, uh, excuse me, peanut butter, applesauce. Um, it's all natural ingredients. There's no sweeteners added. There's no sugar added to it. It's all things that, frankly, are good for human consumption, except the milk bones. Okay. You don't want to eat those, but that the dogs yeah. will love. Okay, go to Maryland.ca for that wonderful recipe. Seb, thank you so much. You just did such a My great pleasure. job. I love seeing all those puppies together. That pool party looked fun, too. Absolutely. Well, I'll keep the pool around for next time you're over. Okay. For more pet party inspiration and projects, check out our Pinterest page. We do have to take a break. Thank you, Sebastian Setner. Thanks, Marilyn. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.